Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 4 today. We'll continue on with Let's Play. This is episode 121. In today's episode, we are continuing on with the American manufacturer events, this time looking at Chevrolet. And we are doing today the Camaro meeting, which is my personal idea of absolute hell. For that, we need a Chevy Yay. Camaro. Uh, and we're going to buy this one in this colour. Because it's... Wow, that ain't the 1960s one, you mm -mm. monster. No, it's not the fucking 60s one. I'm not a male hairdresser. Or Biff Tannen. Anyways. Or Joe Dirt. Actually, I've just realised something crazy. What? I believe I've now bought every single new Chevrolet in the game. Oh. That's a scary thought. Anyways. Yes, we've got to do the thing again. Because supercharging. Yeah. Because that's what you do to all these old Chevrolets. Supercharge the piss out of them. It came crashed down and hurt inside. Isn't it like one of those fucking Hoonigan guys done that? I think he's got like an old Corvette C5 or something. He's just whacked twin turbos on or something. There's a lot of people with twin turbo LS ones. Yeah, but he's like completely stripped the Corvette bare. There's a lot of people that strip Camaros bare. Anyways. I hope I will have... Why are we going to Seoul? Yes, Korea. The home of the Chevrolet Camaro. Hmm. And that's where it's probably made. <laughs> it's, it's where the dashboard materials are probably put together. Yeah. Who's fucking... Ah. Uh. Ah? Uh. I mean... Someone's asking me to be a safety car in Mueller's Racing League. I'm kind of tempted to be a safety car. Aren't you, like, racing in it or something? Huh? Aren't you supposed to be, like, racing in it or something? Yeah, but I hate the car I'm driving. <laughs> it's making me want to end my life. Because <laughs> it's so shit. I'm having to drive this fucking Porsche that doesn't drive consistently. Anyways, we're up against a bunch of Camaros. Rhino is in the lead. Because Apex point to be damned again. Look at the turnout for this mighty race. It's probably all the Korean people going, why is there Camaros in our small town? Wait, this is an SS. Thank fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Just had to double check the gearbox wasn't actually a full speed. <laughs> Listen, it is a 90s General Motors car. There is. Oh, Rhino, well done. Uh, that's like <laughs> that. 2000 and something. What, this? So it would, like, have, like, a 6 speed. This is a 2000. There's well, there you go, it has a 6 speed. Two catfishes in the game. It's. The Z28 from 97, and the SS from 2000. Either way, none of them would have, neither of them have a, probably would have a sports four speed, unless Grand Turismo will fuck something up. I mean, it's not like they haven't done in the past, the Pagani Zonda was limited to like 130 miles an hour in GT3. Mm. By gearing, so... Yeah, the um... Fucking well, it depends which one they get the figures from, doesn't it? Because I don't know if you've noticed, but Forza fucks up some of the transmissions occasionally. Like you know the 850 they went for. The 850 okay. they scanned is an American one, yeah. which basically means it's the worst 850 you could buy. Mhm. Mm because it's got. I think it's got like 10 less horsepower than any other and also it only came with a 4 speed auto. While oh, the rest I mean, of the world got 5 speed autos or 5 I speed mean, manuals. I mean they, they scanned the wrong 3rd gen Firebird so, you know. <laughs> I can imagine you're like the only person in the world that's salty about that. <laughs> hey, it's fucking... It is it's your a car. Good argument. 
It's not. It is a good. Yeah. It, it's a good argument. <laughs> what is it again? You wanted a turbo firebird, isn't it, or something? Yeah, the turbo trains him. To be fair, I don't see why. I, I think I've discussed this with you before. I don't see why they didn't do that because it would actually make a difference from the Camaro. Because if you actually look at the statistics, the Camaro and the Firebird in that game are like not that far off each other. The thing is, the Camaro is a ninety something word. word. It's a ninety. So it I has think. like. So it's like fucking has like. 30 more horsepower than it than the trains am. Yeah, but in essence, they're basically they're both V8. Yeah. Same engines, aren't they? Same engine, same transmission, same body style. Yeah, because those are autos as well. I'm fairly certain I'd imagine at least that Camaro came with a manual, right? Both of them came with a manual. Yeah, I don't understand why they fucking both. Yeah, the turbo trans up. Then again, that fucking 80s Firebird's been in Forza for no reason for actual years at this point. I think it was DLC in Motorsport 3, and ever since that, they've just sort of forgotten about its existence. What mm happened? -hmm. But yeah, I don't know why they didn't. It would make way more sense, at least for there to be like one turbo trans up. Because I Because. I don't know. I it's just a problem with games like that, is I don't know why you'd add two cars that are so discernibly similar. I mean, while they're at it, they could probably send in the, 80, the 81 as well. Why? What was the 81? The 81 with the turbo V8. Now, you know what they should do? Add in the 94. I mean, it like literally looked like a Corvette why? for no reason. Why the, why have the 94 when you can have the WSX? Yeah, don't, bro. I love the pig fucking air vents. The pig vents. Why does it have a ram air hood? Air. But it, it looks like a bad aftermarket knockoff hood from Need Speed Underground 2. That's because it's GM. <laughs> I GM actually like the US 6 Firebird quite a bit. It's a pretty cool car. I like the fact it's got a body kit available for it. <laughs> El Capitan. Because it has that weird... Um, have you seen the body kit for it? No, I haven't even looked at the fucking <sighs> Trans Am. Right, you can add like this weird like lip kit to it. And the lip kit comes with a big wing and also um a fucking Oh god, what is it? It you know the ram air hood? It makes the air vents bigger. Nice. Because that's the one thing people are really complaining about with the firebird. <laughs> Needed bigger air vents. Um. Yeah. Also, by the way, that black Camaro says Camaro 302 on it. I didn't realise Chevy got so desperate they started stealing Ford engines. I mean, Camaro had a 302 in it, so... Doesn't 302 literally just mean 5 litre anyway? Ish. It means close to 5 litre. Yeah, it'll be like 4.9 and some dreaded fucking fraction or something. 4.98. 4.98. What? What, so it's a 4908cc four engine? I think. So it's technically a 4.9. Yep. Weird. I guess they did that because they didn't want to confuse the Windsor to the... 4.9 liters straight six. It's weird. I don't know if you noticed that. Isn't it weird how these days uh, manufacturing companies have moved away from having odd numbered CCs these days? Like everyone has a 1.2 or 1.4 or 1.6. You don't ever see like 1.5s and shit anymore. I, mean, huh. I think the only cars I can think of that have like odd numbers now are. Fiat multi-jet engines, 
Subarus. Um, and Honda, because the Jazz has the 1.3. I think in America it might have a 1.5, I don't know. But, yeah, everyone else has like... I'm trying to think if anyone else has odd numbers. Audi doesn't do the 2.5 anymore. Vauxhall might still do that the two diesel engines that are technically Fiat engines and Isuzu engines respectively. You got the you got Dodge with 6.9 litre Cummins. I don't know why they don't just call that a 7 litre. I'd probably sell it more to Americans. Then again, it's got the word Cummins on it, so it's not exactly like you need to try hard. Because <laughs> everyone just goes, Cummins diesel, so reliable. And then starts attaching those massive fuel pumps that run way too rich. Is it yeah. rich to run to fucking do the black smoke bullshit? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know why the fuck you'd do that, but that's a thing. I mean, I mean, here jet diesels do it, so. Yeah, I'm starting to see golfs doing it. I think it's crossing the Atlantic. Oh. I kind of wish it to sort of end up. I can't make that joke on it. Um, <laughs> just can we castrate anyone who rolls coal? Yeah, that's yeah. I was behind the dick, the fucking Mark One with their roll coal, and I was not happy. Yeah, well, you drive a white car, so I can't imagine you would be. With a window open. Oh god. <laughs> Poor you. Yeah, just and castrate he, everyone who does that shit. And the idiot fucking... And the idiot vaped so it didn't make it any better. He was vaping? Yeah, he was vaping in the car. Oh, because of course. Because Jetta drivers do that. Because of fucking... Jetta drivers vape? Yes. Yeah? Nice. Fucking vaping. Also, oh, apparently Jetta this thing I... might be a 5-speed, but I definitely don't need the fucking 5-speed. Are Jetta drivers better or worse than I Nissan you. Altima drivers? I told you it's supposed to be a 6-speed. Actually, that's another thought I just had. Speaking of cars that are exactly the same in Forza, mm -hmm. there's another fucking Camaro Firebird crossover, isn't there? Isn't the WS6 Ooh. literally the same as the 35th anniversary Camaro? Sure. Because aren't they both like Corvette engine slightly detuned and well, them. Sure. You know what Forza could do with? They should I, I kind of wish they'd get rid of the Fox body that they've got and pick up is it the SHO? Which was like Turbo? Like they should yeah. have more weird turbo American cars from the night is in general. I am in I mean the uh, SVO Fox. Body. SVO, that was it. The trailer turbo. Yeah, because that wasn't that like a two point three Lima with a turbo or something. Yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck do I know this stuff? Because <laughs> you're not. I'm not American. I've never even seen a Fox body. I don't think. I've seen a couple well, of Thunderbirds. Well, Don't ask me why I've seen like Fox Body Thunderbirds, but I've never seen a Fox Body Mustang before. I've never well, seen I mean, a Fox is Black anyone going to import fucking Fox Body Mustang? Yeah, people import the Thunderbirds instead. Well, Thunderbirds are cooler than Mustangs. I could buy a Thunderbird Fox Body for like eighteen hundred at the moment. Part of me still kind of wants that Taurus that's like two grand, just we because it's a that. fucking Taurus. In the UK, it's just weird looking. I kind of want it. The only problem is, I think it needs the um, things doing on it. If I was to buy it, it'd need putting on UK plates, I think. So, but yeah. I'm trying to think of all the cars that are like exactly the same in Forza. I mean, you could target the Impreza line, but. 
I need all my Impressors. I need more Impressors. Midfield Raceway is next. Midfield Raceway, another track that we haven't visited well, in will... literally forever. I... I need more Firebirds, so, you know. Don't they have pretty much every generation of Firebird now, though? Apart from, like, the 90s one? Yeah, but you need the weird shit. <laughs> Listen, bro. Right? We've only just had all the M5s, and that's now fucked. Give me the bug eye in Pretzer, and then I'll start thinking about your other shit. <laughs> no. Gotta have that bug eye in Pretzer. No. Oh, dude, that Camaro is a cool call. Just a shame it's a Camaro. <laughs> you get you get your bug eye in Pretzer if I get Turbo Trans Am in the, in the same DLC pack. Can we just have like a DLC from Turn 10 just called the Redundant Pack? <laughs> <laughs> or like the we're sorry here's some replacements that the car's already in the game car pack cars where they just add like bug eye impreza turbo trans am uh svo mustang what else would be there ah oh, a rescan of the 3000 gt <laughs> another eagle talent no <laughs> No, we just need a new 3000 GT. We actually technically need a new 300 ZX as well, I think, because that model's old as fuck as well. Um, what else could be in that pack? So that's, hold on, one, two, three, four cars. A fast gen that isn't the TTB. A what? Super a fast gen to blue that isn't the 22B. Now get rid of the 22B, replace it with the Type R for no reason. Super Leon RX. <laughs> no. Um, replace the Evo. Outside. Replace the Evo Six GSR with a Tommy McNoon edition. What did you say, as? Um, Subaru Alpha. Oh fuck off. And the uh, Mercedes DTM Carbon Four is a one. Oh, yeah. Licensing issues. Oh. Put fake sponsors on it. No, it's bring the CLK DTM into the game because technically that's a real car and then just like. Yeah. Yeah. Mercedes muscle car. Mercedes muscle car? Like in fucking Gran Turismo where they. with the Plymouth muscle car. Oh, yeah, Plymouth muscle car. That's fucking. that's the best one that. Do you know what I love most about the Plymouth Muscle Car in Gran Turismo 2? No, what do you love most about the Plymouth Muscle Car in Gran Turismo 2? The fact that I think it's a roadrunner, isn't it, technically? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, in the description for that car it says roadrunner everywhere. The game does not mention it by the name Muscle Car if you actually look at the description. The only parts of the game that says Muscle Car is the actual car name itself, that's it. Like, the description and everything just perfectly reads Roadrunner. I didn't think it was a Roadrunner, though, because it looks like a GTX. But is a GTX and a Roadrunner the same thing? Same thing. Yeah. Speaking of which, Scotian. Mm -hmm. Don't want to piss you off, but uh, you know Forza Horizon 2, Fast and Furious? Okay. That had a Roadrunner in it that they never actually bought into the game for some reason. Okay. Not angry? Which one was it? A 68. Yeah. Yeah. What Roadrunner would you have been pissed off if it was? 70. But it's a GTX. It's not a, it's not a 70. The 70 was the best looking one. I want a 1971 Dodge Charger. Because that's when the Charger went weird. But not as weird as it got in like... 74 when it became literally a fucking barge because it's always like America had loads of fun with the muscle car era and then after like the EPA put a stop to it they just stopped caring yeah they were like you know what we can't be fucked to build fun cars anymore except for Pontiac yeah yeah but I mean the Firebird wasn't that powerful to begin with I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't that powerful. But at least it was styled kind of good. I mean, the '77 <laughs> cool looking car. I like the Charger, which no, it wasn't. Became ugly. Two thousand <laughs> credits. 
I wonder what the prize card will be. I think I already know oh. what it is, and I'm highly, highly anticipating it. P Pony, I tried making the fire Firebird look good. Chevrolet tried to make the Camaro hideous. Yes. Hey, Lamal, it's Rhino's car. Uh... It's beautiful. It's literally Rhino's car without the fucking wheels. Look at that back end. With the wheels. It's got a wing. With the F14 style inspired spoiler. Inspired. This car's actually pretty cool. It's um Yeah. There's a lot of weird history behind it. I like it. It basically was a test mule, like made for testing paint that I think it ATA, who would have been in charge of GM at the time? Can't remember. Well, Anyways, whoever was in charge of GM at the time went into a Camaro factory, saw it, felt sorry for it, and made it look like that. And now it's in a fucking garage somewhere, I think. Anyways, there's the car. It's pretty cool. It's not worth anything, but it's cool as shit, so. I would kind of like to use it, but I don't know where I'll actually have any chance to use it at this point. Maybe in like an endurance race somewhere, but I don't really care that much. Anyway, 79.2% completion, which probably means we're going to get pushed to 80% in the next episode. Speaking of which, stay tuned for me to drive one of the worst cars in the world, the Chrysler Crossfire. Until then, farewell.